Hello once again, Autodesk people, and welcome back. This video series is tips and tricks on fabrication parts in Revit 2017. This is going to be a video series that kind of covers, you know, if, if uh, I've been using the fabrication parts for a while, but if you're a new user, you, you're going to have some questions. How do I do this and how do I do that? So this is dedicated to a particular user of our technology who had these questions uh, based out of the St. Louis area. So he asked these questions and I thought, what a great chance and opportunity for me to kind of expand on this and answer these questions for all new users who are getting you used to the uh, Revit fabrication parts. And um, I thought I would take this opportunity to post a video series based off of the questions that he asked me. So let's dive right into it. Step into my office and let's get to the learning derby here. The first question is, if you're drawing duct work or pipe work, how do you how do you draw it so that it's flat on the top or flat on the bottom or on the side? How do you justify it other than the center? So let's let's take a look at how we can do that. So here I am in just a regular floor plan. Um, what we need to do to get the fabrication parts, you have to go to the systems tab here in Revit, and here's the fabrication parts. I've already got some fabrication parts loaded. As you can see here, I've got uh, supply air and I've got rectangular. I also have round and some of the ancillary things like the equipment and hangers. If you don't have fabrication parts, it's pretty simple to grab them. You go down to the bottom right hand corner and go to settings where you can load a, a particular configuration that you might already have specific to your company or your project standards and then just uh, go ahead and hit the reload configuration button or if it's the first time you won't, that you're loading a, an, uh, a configuration, you won't have to do that. These items will already be uh, solid black as opposed to ghosted. But then you can just bring them in. Let's say I wanted to bring in some uh, some piping. So I might want to do some Autodesk. Um, so the, I, as you can see, obviously these are the Autodesk standard um, services that that have been created inside of this configuration so um, so that it's pretty simple just grab it and then add it and hit OK it's pretty standard Revit stuff um, as far as bringing in the different services and whatnot it feels a lot like when you're doing a schedule you want to add a particular uh, uh, field or whatnot but um, so here's here's how this works so you grab a straight and unfortunately, I have not found a way to do any justification, whether it's flat on the side or flat on top or flat on bottom. This works based off of the connector, and there's only one, um, two options, three at most, depending on the, the, the type of object that you're placing in to do that. So it only works based off of the connector, as you can see here, and then you know just it'll want to snap to the next connection point and uh, bring that in. So. In this case, you know, if I wanted to build a run like this, um, just kind of placing some ductwork here, I could do it, but it's all based off of the center line. Now, I'm going to show you a method here in just a minute that, that is kind of a workaround. If you needed to absolutely have it drawn justified on top or on the side or something like that, we can use another method to do that. The method I'm referring to is by using the classic Revit ductwork, which is all des about design intent as opposed to fabrication level of detail. And you can find that under the systems tab. It's one of the first tools in the ribbons here. So as you can see, I can draw ductwork. And um, let's make it the same size as whatever our straights are. And I think this straight is, what is this? Let's take a look. Yeah, it, okay, so it's 24 by 12. So let's do 24 by 12 ductwork. So I'll go ahead and enter 24 is the width, 12 is the height, 12 inches is the height. And um, what you'll notice is that you can draw this. Currently, the horizontal justification is at the center, and the vertical justification is in the middle. So, so what this is doing is it's doing you know the exact center of that rectangular ductwork. However, if I wanted it justified to the top, I would on the under the vertical justification, I would say I want it justified along the top. Now this is going to be a little difficult to actually see what's happening here, but as I draw this, I'm actually drawing it along the top, 
and uh, let's switch to a 3D view so we can see what's happening here and um, you can actually see where it's being pulled from in the 3D view. Okay, so here's our duct work. Oh, and I got them at the wrong elevation here. So let me check the elevation. So it's uh, 113 feet. Uh, looks like that's 113 feet even for the center line. And um, let me grab this duct work here and make that 113 feet elevation. So let's do 13 feet. All right. I wanted to type that number in. I'm not sure why I wasn't able to type it in for a second there. I don't know. Okay, so we're at the same elevation here, and uh, what we'll do is I'll just continue adding more uh, ductwork here. And what you'll see is that it snaps to the center point, but as I draw that, um, let me just make sure I'm at the right elevation, 13 feet. And hit enter. It's doing, right, it's doing the, the justifications at the top. So this should be 13 feet, uh, I guess 10 inches. There we go. Uh, or 13 feet 6 inches. There we go. All right. So as I draw more ductwork, you'll see that it is, in fact, pulling along the top here. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll see the witness lines here uh, pulling along the top of the, the top center, the top middle of that duct. So if you absolutely have to draw ductwork, um, justified at the top the suggestion that I'm going to give you is use the classic Revit ductwork and then choose that run here's a tip for you pick the first element that you want and you if you want to grab all of the connected items instead of picking on each one just go to the end of the run hover over it and then hit the tab button on your keyboard and what that does is it selects everything between everything that's connected between the first element and whatever you're currently hovering over. And now that you're ho hovering over, it's giving you a selection preview. And if I click on the left mouse button, it'll, it'll select everything that, uh, that's between there. So again, that tip is select the first item, hover over the last item, hit the tab button, and then select. And now that I've got that selected, um, you're gonna see um, in the contextual ribbon, I've got this cool little tool called design to fabrication and what this does is it converts these parts to specific um, uh, fabrication parts right so it, it, it takes the design intent and makes it to, to the fabrication level of detail so when I click on that it's just gonna ask me hey what service do you want to put this on it could be anything right so I'll tell it okay in this case I only have supply air but if it if uh, if I had exhaust air or return air or outside makeup air um, I could have all of those listed here and then I would select the appropriate uh, service and then hit OK. What that does is it converts all of the uh, the ductwork or the piping or whatever the case is to the specific items that are associated to the, those particular services. And as you can see here, I was able to convert that very quickly. So again, Revit does not have the ability with the fabrication parts to justify them on top or on the side, but you can do it with a classic ductwork command if you have to do um, you know, some odd justifications there. My, my suggestion is use the classic ductwork and then design the fabrication uh, so you can get the right level of detail. Now we're not quite done yet because as you can see we've got these long lengths of ductwork that are not the standard length. If I look at the length here, you'll see that it's 12 feet 4 inches. So what I would do in this case is select the run of piping and then hit the optimize length button. It's in the contextual ribbon. Once you select it, it'll divide all of those components up to the standard widths, uh, the standard lengths that you have defined for your service. So once again, that's how we go about justifying ductwork on the top or on the side. 
Um, if you want to get it to the fabrication level of detail, just convert the classic ductwork over to the fabrication parts. So that concludes this uh, tip and trick on how to take care of ductwork and justifying it on different um, ends, whether it's the center or uh, the top or the sides. Thanks for joining us and tune in for the next video in this series.